how long were you working on this book for? It started about five, maybe six years ago, but not full scale. It just started with finding a few marks. Finding the first one I remember finding was um, a place in Eveni, the um, Mentinga Craft Centre. I found a piece with a mark on it, and nobody knew what it was. I went to all the so-called experts, and nobody could tell me what it was. And it was English, or it was South American, or and then when I found that mark in I think it's, um, Swaziland. Mm -hmm. Then it was like, ah, oh, this is possible. I can actually find out the information. And then I just started photographing pieces because I, I do all the auctions, I do all the markets. So I'm exposed to a lot more pieces than, than even the potters would be exposed to because they mm. don't have time to run around. Yeah. So it was an, an aside to my business. And it just I just built a database and every time I found a mark, cataloged it. Who is your uh, greatest rival? I have... Don't, I don't think there is anybody. That's exactly what I'd say. No, there's <laughs> nobody are, else. Nobody you else are stupid unique. enough to <laughs> <laughs> to spend all this time to, you know. Can I butt in for a second? Yes. Can I just ask you who, what, where you are, how this sure. started, how you sure. wanted to, how you wanted to do this, anything from the beginning? Okay, I started um, trading in English ceramics. From the background of what? Um, well, actually. A background as a musician, but that was a side. I just, I just started to buy and sell to make a living. Why? Um, I don't know, I don't fit into it. Well, did you kind of one day something kind of pressed a button in you and you just thought that was fabulous stuff? My wife started buying and selling. Okay. And I went kicking and screaming, carrying the boxes <laughs> to the markets, and then we went on a buying trip and I bought a few pieces of Royal Dalton, and that was it. 